for an architect uh, and especially in that what I'm doing, it's uh, super inspirative. So you see the city is in transition and you see this uh, huge potentials of in the very center of the city. So in the heart of the city where you actually see, yeah, okay, this building looks like it's no longer in use for 20 or 30 years. You immediately could refurbish, you immediately could activate it for food production. My name is Daniel Putniasek. I'm head and uh, founder of the Vertical Farm Institute in Vienna. We are focusing on possibilities and potentials uh, based on the question in how can we radically increase food production in the center of the city. Based on my experience, one of the biggest potentials what I really do see now is I know Serbia now for 12 hours, not more, but uh, if you're having a look on the urban morpho uh, morphology and uh, seeing this, you have that spirit of that city is really in transition on one side and on the other side there is a huge potential of old or unused buildings, uh, buildings which actually are just screaming for a refurbishment for indoor food production in the center of the city. We are working on two levels. Yeah? One level is actually getting a deeper understanding of uh, the whole consortium, uh, coming up with the specific definitions of how to uh, uh, imply nature-based solutions, blue-green solutions on urban food production. So there is a lot of, um, let's say, basic analysis, very specific analysis on the urban environment. Uh, I'm just naming what is uh, questions like what is the food balance sheets of Serbians, so what do they actually eat? How much area do they need per capita to get uh, uh, food supply throughout the whole year? How much energy uh, do they need? So what is the primary energy production in the agricultural system? And uh, last not least and very important, what are actually the climate conditions? Yeah. And the other level is uh, we do see this FPOLIS project also as a kind of trigger, yeah, where we uh, can discuss um, the need or the climate potential of urban food production with all its positive externalities on a bigger scale. Yeah? Because we know these transformation or transition processes need uh, way longer than this uh, FPOLIS project is lasting. So we try to uh, put on some uh, seats in, in the heads of the decision makers in each and every partner city. Uh, so front-runner cities and follower cities that uh, to, to order in order to enable that uh, or, or to, to reinforce or to stabilize this transition process. Come up with very specific questions. This is uh, also important to have police, number one, and uh, continuously throughout the whole simulation process and after the implementation process, coming up with the right question, which is, will this help? easy as that. So uh, a, an honest monitoring concept to fi in figuring out if this is the right question to go or if there is still uh, some shapes or changes needing.